Okay, people, welcome back. And in today's session, we will talk about the method selection. Method selection means which method of the process improvement we apply when. As you know, these lean, six sigma, you apply DMAC, DFSS, design thinking, agile, everything is a project management technique. So I'm going to explain you today that where to apply lean and where to apply Six Sigma. So as we all know that lean in the business is to create value. And value creation will happen by waste elimination and improving the flow. This is what lean will help you, where the DMAC approach will help you to reduce variation. And you can reduce the variation when your standard deviation, which is the unit of measurement of variation. So you are looking for the standard deviation reduction in the process measurement. This is what we'll do. So when to apply lean? when you are looking for the waste elimination or improving the flow, when to apply DMAC, when you are looking for the reducing the variation or the standard deviation reduction. So let's start. Suppose you have a problem. Any problem, problem is the business problem. This is a business problem. And you have the two options about the business problem. And these two options are related to the solution. You have a problem, possibly, you have the solution as well for that business problem. So you need not to worry about Lean and Six Sigma. It's a simple. You apply the Deming cycle. Basically, PDC is the heartbeat of Lean implementation. Simply apply Plan, Do, Check, Act or the Deming cycle and continue with this. Because you have a problem. You have a solution. Do not retrofit into Lean or Six Sigma projects. Simply do the Plan, Do, Check, Act and done. Many a time where we actually apply lean and six sigma is when, when I have a problem, but when it's come to the solution, answer is no, that I don't have a solution. You don't have a solution, you have a problem and your problem is something new. Like as new product, new process you are going to design, something new you are going to develop from the scratch, which has no background. So when problem is there, answer to solution is no and this is absolutely new, then we apply DFSS. DFSS stands for Design for Six Sigma, which means you are designing your process or product in such a way that from the day one, it will work on the Six Sigma level. In case you have a problem, answer to the solution is no, and the problem, is existing problem. Problem already exists, which means you are facing this problem for many days, but still you are you do not have the solution. You are trying to find out the solution. In this case, when you are trying to find out a solution for the existing problem, then problem may be related to the efficiency. Efficiency mainly we talk about the cost. When the cost of operation is high than expected or Problem is related to the effectiveness, which means effectiveness means you are talking about the quality or the output of the process. So if problem is there, there is no solution available. Problem is existing and it's related to the cost or efficiency. Then we apply lean method here. In the another case, if the problem is there, answer to the solution is no. Problem existing, but it's related to the quality problem or the effectiveness problem. Then we apply Six Sigma here. Many times you have seen the Lean Six Sigma word come together when? When you have a problem, there is no solution available for the problem. Problem is existing and problem is related to the cost and quality both. Neither you are meeting the effectiveness nor you are meeting the efficiency parameter of your process. And that's how the lean and six sigma will come together. 
and we apply lean and six sigma here when the problem is related to the efficiency and effectiveness both this is the way we select the method i will be explaining with the practical example about the efficiency and effectiveness in my next session till the bye i'll see you in the next session